of the spree, there is the Museums Island, an island full of museums. It's where the White Council people hang out in Berlin. It's my office. Not my home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Certainly. You think that they somewhere. didn't like flowing water? No, it's yeah, a, they, they it's don't. a defensive barrier around it. It's unpleasant to go over it, but uh, but now you're over, and other things don't like it. Running water, but then you can go to the office, mm -hmm. library, and stuff. You can have a, a a montage study session if you like. Yes, Felix will do a montage <laughs> study session. There will be tea brewed by Shin. Felix will read a lot of books. Huh. So I would like someone to, do someone to do scholarship and someone else to do lore then, if you want. You can do lore if you do scholarship. Sure. An athlete to bandage books on my head. Yeah, you, <laughs> car you carry around the books in wolf form on your head. <laughs> Doesn't seem very human, but okay. Doesn't It's, it's less wolf than it's human. That is true. Uh, you are superb. I yeah. think I get a... I did, what did I get? Plus two to my athletics? I don't even know if I should be serious about this. <laughs> That's role. only when you dodge oh. with speed. And you're not really in wolf form. I'm I'm well if I I would be if I were balance books on <laughs> my head. Right. So what do I get? Plus one? Something and like that? Ah, sure. All the time. Okay, so so there you go. Talking to different people. So you're superbly good at balancing in books. Triple Amazing. fives. You can have him. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right then. Um, so you want to look into what exactly? What's your what's the big? I want to know what that huge, dangerous ice creature was. Uh -huh. What is it? What what does it do? What does it? Want? How do I s how, how do, do I we, seal it? How do we kill it? How do we hurt it? So much pain. Hurting everything, huh? That's How do you deal with everything. it, basically? Just What's the weakness? Just harm. harm all of it. Do, do we have? Do we have? All to right, then. Uh, you you, uh, you have certain you have certain bits of knowledge. You know that something to do with winter and cold. Mm -hmm. It's just fairy stuff. More importantly, it has something to do with the hunt, at least yes. a small version of it. It is also big, scary, and has a twisted face. Uh, and it says something about children. This is actually enough information that you've gathered up in various places to uh, to find a uh, connect both with your lore and with your scholarship. So the name of Berkta. Berkta? Yeah. Spelled as such. Mm -hmm. uh, with the scholarship... People have studied tears, and it appears that it is an alpine pagan goddess of beasts. The goddess has two forms. It has a monstrous form and the form of a generally predicted as a beautiful woman of winter. The monstrous form uh, is generally by, law, by, by sort of old folk tales called the belly slitter, while the beautiful form is known as the winter mother. She is uh, responsible, they say, for taking care of children that never live or die in infancy. With the lore side of things, you find that uh, this was once a very powerful fairy being. It uh, it was in the family of what is very rare, and that is the winter gruffs. Gruffs generally only support summer, but there are two well-known and very powerful ones, one of which I didn't really thought to still exist, uh, and that is uh, this Berkta, and then Krampus. Oh no. Um, their origin is unknown. They're incredibly old. Um, this uh, Berkta is known to have taken a great interest in keeping the innocence of children safe. She has indeed two forms, a monstrous self and a, a beautiful self. The monstrous self at times can call and lead the wild hunt. The problem is, it was, th it was thought that she had been swallowed whole by, the mother, by mother Winter. Hmm. The, the mother of the Winter Court. Uh, who had absorbed her into herself. Weaknesses? Probably fairy things, but maybe also ghost things, if this is indeed just a remnant of something that once was.
Would it be possible to get an aspect out of this that would... Yes, most definitely. That helps Let's us see. against it? That's like much. making a ritual against her or...? You know uh, the aspect uh, that this is uh, Lady Long Gone Never Never. As such, uh, you also know the aspect at this point. That would be, I think, of the children. Another one you know is the Mistress of the Wild Hunt. And another one you also know is Aspect of Mother Winter. Definitely weak to cold iron. So we need to dress. Uh, Martin has like a battle armor, right? For his dragon forms, just old cold iron. Not yet, but I Shin know. Shin gets smithing. <laughs> cold Fetch me iron. the swat elves of the north. Exactly. I mean, is cold, cold iron, is that something magical? Or it's is it just, just iron. iron that's cold? It's just iron, iron that's cold. Yeah. Iron, it's cold, yeah. So a door handle would burn a fairy. I, why would, why would winter fairies be weak against cold? It's basically fairy hardcore uranium. Yeah. yeah, it's kryptonite to fairies. It's not. It's not really the cold. It's mostly the iron. It's just not as bad as if it's really hot for some reason. It really screws over the winter fairies too. So we just need like liquid nitrogen. And iron, iron stuff. I'd probably shatter the iron. Mm, not necessarily a bad thing, though. But uh, yeah, bring your definitely cares about uh, the children. It is, it is the uh, the goddess of the unborn, basically. Featured in many fairy tales a long time. As for example, Frau Hulda is also this this being, but in her beautiful form. Old crooked lady. So to summarize, we are going against the ghost of a former goddess. Who, who is now an aspect of uh, the queen of air and darkness. Felix shakes his head. Yeah, this is not going to be easily defeated. No. He sighs. Appeasement then might work. That's probably our best bet, honestly. Maybe she is looking for her children? Or maybe her children were destroyed by this uh, Mexican ghoul? Slightly. I mean, Maybe. we were attacked by a couple of tigers. Maybe they used to be female tigers. Martin shrugs. <laughs> Felix Shakes said, "No, no, no. It's it's human children." Anyway, in any case, I think we would get more answers from from Flaky. Answers we lack. I do feel like he certainly owes us some answer at this point. He does. And if the reputation around him is accurate, I think we are walking into one hell of a fight. That is the third situation in these last two days where a tank would have been really handy. I told you. I told cold you to buy that tank. Iron, a cold iron tank. Well, exactly. But no. <laughs> we'll see how Mother Winter fare, fares against this tank. <laughs> he <laughs> laughs slightly to himself. I would have liked to see that, actually. So. The question is now, if you would like to continue playing, there's still a bit more. Uh, or if we should call it night. It's, it's basically 11, which was the end point. I have to go, I'm so tired. Yeah. 
Um, so, if we should schedule playing again soon, I have the rest of this adventure uh, planned out. So that's not really a problem for me. And it's Easter. It is. It is Easter. So uh, I was going to ask, but I'm going to ask that later in the main shot if we're actually playing on on Saturday because it is Easter's Eve. So people might be busy. I don't actually know. I haven't heard anyone being being busy. No, but people might. Not yeah, you can ask. Do you think you might assume anyway? How how are you guys for Friday then? Like, if we take the similar short session I that only goes like eleven. Probably can't do it on Friday. All right. Because I have a I have a session with my IRL group. What's mm. IRL? In real life. Oh. With his yep. real friends. <laughs> yeah. Not my internet <laughs> friend. You don't exist, any of you. You're just voices. Made up people. <laughs> I know sheep exist. I'm pretty sure he exists. Okay. I have met you. I I, I hope <laughs> I'm not a figment of your imagination. <laughs> it's all, it's all <laughs> philosophy. How do I know that? Does I did shake your hand, so that's, you know. Celebrate Easter. I don't think it's a thing you celebrate. Some people, yeah, some do. people do. Which what do they like do? They have you, you family get eggs. together and eat eat lots of food. You actually you eat hide sheep. Eggs. And to hide eggs, <gasps> yeah. Mm. No, it's not sheep. You eat. We it's, should eat sheep. I also uh, posted a lamb. I also posted. Isn't a, thing a sheep on a lamb? lamb? Sheep is a grown-up sheep. You eat the baby. <laughs> oh well, that's way better. <laughs> oh no! How appropriate. Yeah, Lambs taste exactly. better. Some reason I don't remember why. Yes, the the next thing the party would probably flesh. do be to uh, to go and and seek out this Krakow's uh, address. But uh, you know, yeah. So we're gonna kick down the door. But, uh, the last thing. That's what we're gonna do. I like to like to uh, you know we, we we I guess we can talk about it in the thing. Figure out when we can play next. Uh, yeah. But, you know, sooner rather than later, I think is better to, to remember things. Uh. Well, Friday, I have the thing is I can't I can't be sure on Friday because I don't know how long the session on Friday is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even remember what happens on Fridays anymore. Nothing. Really. Now what is it? <laughs> what do you mean? What what happens on Friday? We are thinking about maybe continuing this session on Friday. Oh. I guess I blacked out. <laughs> we could do Sunday, I suppose. Might not be able to do Sunday but either. Because... Well, Jonas has to go to know, church. Jonas, why don't... <laughs> yes, church. No, <laughs> it's more like my why, parents why uh, come home after like two weeks traveling away, and it's one of the Easter days, and they want to meet and have like family dinner so stuff uh, on Sunday. We, so. we can talk about it uh, in the chat. For, for a few dates up, though. Uh, if you, if you would, so we can, uh, we can finish this adventure. Why do someone else can get this. such an active social life? I know. How <laughs> dare I? Yeah. Have people. So <laughs> weird. Uh, I mean, it. Yeah, I. I don't know. Might be like. We'll figure it out. Don't have to decide now. But I'm at least done with the material. So. Yeah, let's go. For my sake. We don't. And I'm looking forward to what's ahead, and I think you will love it. So. uh I want you guys to all, to all be there for it. Manika, do we celebrate Easter? Are we I gonna have no idea. Easter? I don't know. I'm going to grill some pork tomorrow, if that's what you're thinking. That's not very Easter. Well, I don't know. I bought it cheap. I mean, let me tell you about Easter. It's it's technically the vacation where you celebrate like the, the rebirthing of Jesus Christ or something. And what do you do? You make colored eggs and hide them in the garden. Because apparently there's some magical bunny rabbit who hides them. Pagan things, right? It's pagan. It's, it's there was a lady. So, who so if you want to celebrate Easter by eating pork, I say go for it because nobody has any idea what also, you are actually supposed to do on Easter anymore. It's anyway, the, it's the meat of Christ. Also, I uh, I posted an Easter Easter story on our our subreddit. Oh, like a creepy thing. Yeah. Is it creepy? Oh, of course it is. I'm probably not. Gonna yeah, know. it's a creepy <laughs> Easter thing. Oh, you should read it though. It's great. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for the session. You have no obligation to stay anymore. <laughs> you can you can we, go if you're very tired. I'll probably stay a little while. Let's yeah, talk we'll to people. Uh, we can go home and you can go to sleep. There, there's no. It's okay. 
Did you cry? No, I'm just <laughs> coughing. <coughs> or trying not to cough, but you know. Yeah. yeah. I'll go look at the chat anyway. If we have one, any, I don't know. Yeah, we have a few brave watching. souls who have made it out here. A few. Yeah. It's not just us. It, I mean, uh, it's fine if it is, really. It, it wasn't very short notice. I like threw up the announcement video like a few hours ago, so, you know. Hey, that's the point of this whole affair. I know. And people can interact on the separate, of course. Keep them on their toes. Mm -hmm. Were you finished updating the things from your scenario, the people and such, on the uh, city and portal, Sheep? Uh, no, I haven't actually started yet. I need to get. Okay, because because I'm gonna I'm gonna do that probably with what I what kind of want to do that when when the thing is done though, so I can just yeah. Hmm. Hello, chat. I lo I'm looking at you all now. Oh, look, yeah, I have like 14 people, but it's probably like nine. But hey, <laughs> you know, it's mostly us. <laughs> I'm not in the chat. But no. I I like the session. I hope you do. I, I like it too. I was just really tired because of my meeting. It was really <laughs> early for me, but it went well. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna work. It's um, uh. I noticed how annoying magic is, because yeah. <laughs> even if you even if you get all stressed out by casting your spell. You can still so easily miss with your spell, and it's all for nothing. It's that. It's why I don't like putting blocks on those very strong creatures because they just, just walk through it. You need no, so much, so many shifts for it to work properly. I also I mean like the the attack spell I used. With. I missed the tiger ones. I accidentally yeah, yeah. did something with my character sheet, and I didn't know how to fix it. What so did you do? Need, uh, I accidentally clicked uh, some some stuff, and I was like, "Oh no, that's not what I had in my skill tree." And then I would go on a load, but then it asked, "Are you sure you want to load? Because then you're gonna lose this." And I thought it's, and I thought I would, if I said yes, then I would just load. But no, I saved the <laughs> the hmm. me the mess up. Well, you can recreate it. Probably not a big deal. Like the first pancake, it was a mess up. <laughs> Well, so if the some... first pancake isn't a do-over, then you don't really get a lot of pancakes, do you? Pancakes? What? It's first an, pancake an... is always a do-over. Analog. Well, what was that sheep? Uh, let me look something up. Uh... Bye. 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 Magic underwhelming. I guess it's underwhelming. Have... <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, magic is terrifying. It probably would have made like a. <laughs> What's terrifying, Monica, is fifteen physical stress. <laughs> that would like yes. cut through a jumbo jet. You're like God. Yes. <laughs> God. Even a yes. biggest dragon tank would like. Oh, <laughs> the pain. <laughs> the terrible pain. Yeah, something I'm not sure about is whether the extra stress boxes I get from the supernatural toughness uh, apply against my my weakness or not. I thought about that later, and they don't. Uh, but uh, but we go with this now. I I would have still been fine-ish because I would have had the option to take like at maximum two extra mild consequences because I can take an extra one. But, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, we're not going to fight that thing again. That's, uh, that's no. a bad, bad idea. But at least it attacked me and not, like, Shin. Yeah. So, sure. yeah, my, my sure mission accomplished. Yeah, I sort of spell at me, but I got through it fairly okay. So, in combat, this, like you can only cause physical shifts on the enemy. You can't do, like, mental shifts on them. Unless you have special abilities, like you're a white cord vampire, then you do mental stuff. Or a synth rocker changeling. Yes, if you're Nixie, that is. Yep. There are a few things that can do it, they're very rare, basically. And they cost tons. Like, to just be able to have one attack against MD for, like, two damage, 
you would basically pay the same as you pay for the entirety of evocation. I'm trying to remember, remember, did I have to like roll discipline for the spell to like target it? And did I need to roll it again to do an attack roll to see if it hits? Uh, no, First you, you need do to control it, and then you're just like blast things with it, right? The control yeah, you know, roll is the attack roll. It does yeah. two things at once. Yeah. Okay. Which is yeah. control. Which is, is why if you like, if you roll low, you probably also miss with the thing. Yeah. Because it's like the energy is going haywire, and you can barely contain it. Yeah, I don't know how I would fight something with five athletics. Like it's gonna touch everything I have. You would uh, invoke it. aspects, probably. That's no, when you invoke aspects. You make yeah. you make you make aspects, and then you invoke them. You could, for example, uh, do your roll, and if you don't like your result because like you got the like, minus one on the dice, for example, you could then invoke an aspect to re-roll, and then if you got like a plus one or something, which is relatively uh, easy in quotation marks. You could then again invoke an aspect, a different aspect, to get an extra plus two on that. So if you are kind you of mean like to, after the roll, yeah, after you can do those things after the roll. You don't have to announce before it. But if you are willing to spend a lot of fate points, you can do some really big hits. And of course, there's the option of setting up other aspects to also help you in some form or another. I guess the problem was that I rolled like minus three on both of my casts. So I got, only got like a two out of them. I will also say that still the aspect stuff is... Uh, I don't know. It seems to be a lot of work just to get a plus two on something, you know? Plus two is like 50% though. Yeah, maybe, but again something... I, g I guess we weren't supposed to fight the mother. But some again something like her, I wouldn't have mattered. In the slightest. She might have a weakness that we haven't discovered. But even that will just get a plus two. We just got all the aspects out of her. No, I, I mean, uh, she might have a proper weakness to her toughness. She had like armor against your fire spell, for example, and she had a lot of boxes. But if it works the way I think it does, and I think that's mm -hmm. how it works, okay. this like mythical toughness, you get like six extra stress boxes, but those only apply against everything that is not your weakness. So if you hit them with okay. your weakness, you need a lot less force. Well, right. Sheep, if you had, like, in your dragon form, you could have picked up the car, because it was cold iron at that point, and throw it at her. <laughs> no, I, taking, like... I consider that, but actually picking up a car is actually something I only have a 50-50 chance on doing successfully. What, as a dragon? Yeah. It doesn't I, have a natural strength. My, my, yeah, I don't have strength. So my, you're like a really weak dragon? No, not really weak. Just not as super as like powerful. Supernaturally as strong. Yeah, it's more elephant strong. Yeah, but I, I still have so a might a, of plus six. But a car is heavy. A small car six? would need a, a small car would need a plus eight. So if I invoke an aspect, what? I'd have a fifty-fifty chance. Plus eight for a small car? Yeah. What? I could but there are, there are strong men who pick up small cars by themselves. They probably invoke aspects. <laughs> That's true. Like strong men. I mean, if it was like a pickup truck or something, then I would but like a small car. If I had inhuman strength or supernatural strength, which I don't, I could pick up a car rather easily. But currently it's kind of iffy. I said you need dragon armor. You need cold iron all over you. And like on your claws, you need like extra like like a like claw gloves with iron on them. Maybe then you can it can work. Because like deathwing if, plating. Yeah, deathwing plating basically. If like we hammer it into you, it's gonna be great. I mean uh, but but that's kind of awkward because then I'd need to make sure that I don't randomly turn back, so I'd have to no, always we'll just show you blood all the time. That's have like have a, a like a, a bloody carrot of blood. on a stick. Yeah, there's a bloody bucket with like awful or something we have with us all the time. So you just you peek down in it. it sounds like we're really British. Or we can order bucket. 
You can order an Oculus Rift and put it on your face and charge you blood all the time. A dragon sized Oculus Rift. Ah. Or just get two, one for each of cyber, your eyes. Cyber Dragon, and he starts looking like Daft Punk from. Oh, that would be great. Daft Punk Dragon. Yeah, anyway, I should be heading off. It's gonna be less than five hours until work, so. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Well, have a good day. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you had fun. Yeah. It was fun. Oh, it was a bit of a lack of aspecting at the second half of that, but. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, that's not only was, man, was, my job. It, so. it was mostly Tina refusing to be compelled. <laughs> Oh, that was... I don't, I don't know what was going on there, but... But, uh... Well, she had a crisis and she was, washed herself furiously in the sink. Okay, uh, anyway. Stay good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. I'm excited, excited to continue. Mm -hmm. Sure. Build up yeah, if, awesome. like Cold Iron, sure, she's weak to that, but we don't have anyone who wields Cold Iron. That's the problem. We don't have anyone who uses swords, we don't have anyone who uses, like... Anyone who fights melee or always uses natural weapons in our group, we don't really have. Not we, don't we don't have, we don't have a, a Knight of the Cross or anything. High end of claws, yeah. Yeah, as I said, just get get gloves for your dragon form. Keep it in the trunk of the car. When trouble hits, you put those on, and then you can go at it. I think that's the way. If we, if we're gonna fight it, that's the way we have to do it. And then just if if we could get armor I mean, on you as well. Earth magic has 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 metal in it, right? But it's still considered magic, I think. Mm -hmm. In some ways, I'm sure, we figure something out. Oh, you could. I mean, if you, you say could. if you say that I can use earth now magic, magic is to a actually, fun drug. If, if you say I can use earth magic to actually like do metal attacks against it, I suppose I could. Wouldn't I could, really like, be, wouldn't really be a, I suppose it wouldn't really be evocation you use for that sort of thing. But setting up a ritual, I mean. Mm, but that takes hours. A circle, and then like put it there, and then lower mm -hmm. things into it. You know. That's, that's or you could, Jonas, you could do a, a uh, pellet blast, essentially. You, you bring cold iron yourself and then just shoot it. Sure, I can use force to shoot it. Finally, I mean, if... A wizard with time to prepare is... Well, sure, you know. but uh, but it's not really, that's not really how it works in the rules, though, because I'm like, I can prepare. It's like, no, you can't, actually, because you have magical slot limits, so I can't actually prepare anything, really. Mm. That's the problem with this. You can't change them between sessions, do you think? Uh, if I have enough time to craft, which usually takes days or weeks or months. Oh, okay. Because um, the system That's is very, it's very limited, actually, or limiting, actually, in that way. Which is why I have such generic items, because, like, there's something I need that should be useful most of the time. I could have set up a ritual, that is true, but it would need to be... Like, I basically need probably a few hours to set it up, and then the creature needs to stand still inside a ritual. Like, that's not gonna happen, really. Mm. Um, I have a potion slot that I could use to buff people. Like, give uh, Martin a 5 in athletics, for instance. Mmm. Ashley Dragon. Mm hmm. It could be a very effective tank that way, I think, but, um... Sure. But uh, if, you, if you have suggestions, I, you know, I'm sure listening, like shooting the pellet blast, yeah, that seems likely. I could also use the vocation to, like, an earth medic to use, like, there's a lot of piping and stuff in the city, you know, barbed iron and stuff and everything from walls to walkways, you can certainly pull them out and use them to attack. Like, like nails magic. on the wall. Yeah, you basically use the gravity and magnetic force of the earth magic to sort of pull them out and like impale her with it. That could work. 
be similar to what I did, what I did with the white quartz dude. Hmm. So I guess. So, how many people in chat actually know of the Dresden Files universe right now? Because I know a few people who watch the YouTube video uh, knows it, but just interesting to see. Uh, I don't think reaching out to the summer court is a good idea, Tolvar. We don't want the courts here, really. Oh, fairies! F no! And um, best case, it would be like, we'll help you, but... Exactly. But we want three infants for you. Yeah, and you're like, ah, uh, nah. Um, oh, not really into that. <laughs> Martin, like, stopping halfway... And, and pulling out his phone. <laughs> I know an orphan, and I like look a look from Felix, where he's like um, just murder. I have a guy. <laughs> you have what? Oh no, nothing. A... I <sighs> said I was going to say I have a guy who might be able to convince these people that selling children is terrible, right? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Just look at it. That's right, Martin. It's terrible. <laughs> yes, that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh. Pretty sure Martin is some sort of like character from our Way of the Wicked session. Like he knows all of these really bad people. He knows all the people in the city, right? Because the dragon basically had like a status quo, and uh, Martin's the one supposed to handle all that. So he knows the people not because he wants to, but because he has to, Jonas. Mommy, <laughs> why is the dragon man so evil? Like. Take like World War One, and then you put sheep there and say it's your job to make sure that nothing, no one goes to war. Oh, oh no! And then you get a letter: the Archduke of Austria has died in Serbia. Russia's ally. Russia is his friend with France, who's also friend with Britain. Austria is friends with Germany and the Ottoman Empire. And you're like, huh, mm, mm, no. Oh, and at the end, it's, it says also the goose is ready. You're like, oh, my no. God, I hate. Yeah, that's basically it. That's what I imagine, at least. Yeah, those, yeah. those sort of 1800s, like, well, 1900s, I suppose, like, meetings of the Concert of Europe, where all these big men sit with their superpowers and talk about the fate of the world at a big table, and then, except here there's, like, sheep whose who's duty it is to make sure that it all goes right. He has, he has, Martin has connection to all these evil people, because if he has somewhat more or less amiable like relations then he can gently steer steer them without causing any big issues you otherwise he, he can't really he can't exterminate them so he'll just you know oh, i don't know there's a few things we could exterminate like mr north for instance and start world war berlin in the meantime yes <sighs> there are ways <laughs> surely there are ways for someone with his connections yeah. The White Council could move in and take over. Exactly. Yeah, so no, my, my dad gave me one <laughs> job. <laughs> There's oh, wizards everywhere. You should, uh, <laughs> you should, you should walk up though and, and uh, slam your your dragon fist down his uh, desk and break it because he he ordered you around like a freaking crony. Uh. Yeah, that we can't have that. Amiable uh, like relationships, sure, but no threats. Yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, otherwise mm -hmm, things will happen, and I'm like, what are you threatening the dragon? Like, are you absolutely insane, man? Do you know who? It's he is? worth knowing that uh, he probably doesn't. He probably doesn't know. Uh, the criminal organizations are right at the edge of knowing that something's not as it seems, but not exactly what or how. Though what what Martin might do with Mr. North is is go into a a room with just him and, and like sit on a table with like a, a cup of coffee each and then be like, you should punch me in the face, you know, right on the nose. See what happens, right? You to follow through with your threats after all, right? Exactly. You threatened me before, and I give you another chance. Shoot yeah. me and see what happens. No, not shoot me. That. that mm. What? You can survive a shot. If he doesn't shoot to kill, sure. Bullets are dangerous, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. If anyone has access to weapons, them and then 
there may be sometimes even friends who want like section section like 16 mm-hmm. seems like they could be good friends section 16 are potential very good friends yes oh, of the criminals because they don't have superpowers her brother um I shouldn't say that But at least around cheap anyway. <laughs> but at least <laughs> oh, they're great. They're amazing. Like fuck yeah. But at least them sex my and section sixteen doesn't run like I don't know drug rings. I think yeah, presumably not like espionage. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what works? Larry is suggesting just just bringing like a vial of blood along. It's not really that reliable, like at all. Like it, it, it's it's a defensive reaction when he when when he feels threatened. In I a have sense. Ordered if, he, food, if he did it know. himself, he knows that it's not threatening. Yeah, him. exactly. If he like pulls out a, a stopped vial of blood, well, that's not really it's, sure. But it's red beef, liquid, great. But beef still throws him off, though. So yeah. I assume it's because it's unexpected, right? Unexpected. Yeah, it's, it <laughs> has to be beef. unexpected. I have that's brought this slab of raw beef. I want you to hit me with it in the face. Like some people, some place you have to pay for that. Yeah, I know. It's good money. I need to pay for that usually. It either has to be a lot like splattered around, like on a crime scene, or unexpected. In Berlin, there's a there's a club for that. Yeah, no definitely. Red rain. Oh, those those slap people with red red meat. Yeah, right. Go go there. Slap my meat. Club. That's a place. Yeah. Just go in there, and someone stands there with a steak and just. <laughs> hmm. It's very strange. No, that kind of blood is not unexpected. It's just a lot. And I don't doesn't... know how to say how it works, but I know how it works. Exactly. At least I think I do. Well, the entire think... mechanical thing behind it, it's supposed to be involuntary. It's supposed to be uncontrollable. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a downside. And it's fun. It's funny. And awkward. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll see when we can continue. Figure out the mystery. Yes, mystery. Oh, I'll talk to you later, I guess. I'm going to head off. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that too then. Okay, well, that was it for this uh, for this session, folks. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will be back with more Dresden Files. And uh, uh, Comment and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe. Herpeter. Is that what people say? I think that's what people say. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Chill a little bit. Also, take a look at our uh, at our subreddit where you can post things and stories and plot hooks and characters and stuff that we can put into the world. There's already been a flurry of activity, and we do like it. I have read all of it so far. Uh, don't know of the others, but I assume they have, and uh, we we'll like it. So mm. keep that mm. stuff going. Find weird things. I put like a put an Easter story up there that I think is kind of creepy, but I like because I like creepy things. And 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 uh, I found a cool uh, gif that I put up there as well. Put a little story thing there. You can do the same thing. And uh, I like the answer I got from uh, Goliath on that one. So so good work on you, sir. Stuff like that was that also. There was also a guy asking uh, whether the Berlin Aquarium or the or the Tier Garden would be better to visit, and yeah. tell him I was like, "You should check out the bears." <laughs> I like that a lot. There's the bear in an aquarium. The bears those. are awesome. <laughs> he uh, he's flying that flag for 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 that the bear power park. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he he feels very strongly for it. Oh, I'll talk to you later. I'm okay, out. Okay. See you later, guys. Thanks. Bye. Yep. Bye.